Hello world! Welcome back to another Try Hack Me Advent of Cyber 2025 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Day 23 room, AWS Security, Secret Santa. Let's get into it. So for task one, you're going to want to go ahead and start up the target machine. And this whole room is about learning the basics of AWS accounts, enumerating the privileges granted to an account from an attacker's perspective, and familiarizing yourself with the AWS CLI. Our first task actually does have a question we need to answer. Run AWS STS get caller identity. What is the number shown for the account parameter? Let's go ahead and run that command they gave us. We can see that the account number is this right here. Let's go ahead and copy that out here. And we can move on to task two. Let's scroll down to the question. What IAM component is used to describe the permissions to be assigned to a user or group? Scrolling up, you're going to notice that there's an IAM policy section. Access provided to any user, group, or role is controlled through IAM policies. A policy is a JSON document that defines the following. Blah, 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 blah. So policy should be the answer to our question. Moving on to task three. Let's scroll down to the question. What is the name of the policy assigned to sir.caratbane? To figure that out, we can do AWS IM list dash user dash policies, tac tac user dash name, sir.caratbane, like so. And we can see that there's one policy for sir.caratbane, which is sir.caratbane policy. We'll copy that out to here. Click check. Moving on to task four. Scrolling down to the question. Apart from get object and list bucket, what other action can be taken by assuming the bucket master role? To figure this out, we can do AWS IM get dash role dash policy, tac tac role dash name, bucket master, tac tac policy name, bucket master policy and you can find out all that information above in the task overview up here we can press enter and you can press enter to scroll through the rest of the json object but you're going to notice that our get object and our list bucket actions are right there and there's one more action that we have access to which is the list all my buckets action and that's going to be our answer to this question Moving on to task five. What are the contents of the cloud underscore password text file? So there's a few things we need to do to prep for this. We can press Q to exit out of our object here, and we'll go ahead and clear the screen. What we need to do first is assume the bucket master role. How do we go about doing that? Well, first we need to get some information. Let's do AWS IM list dash roles. You can see our bucket master role right here. And what we need is this ARN value. ARN just stands for attached role name. Now we can produce the credentials we need in order to assume the bucket master role. We can do that by doing AWS STS assume dash role, tac tac role dash ARN, grab that ARN value that we saw earlier from up here, tac tac role dash session dash name, and you can call this whatever you want to. We'll just call it TBFC. Press enter. And if that succeeded, you should have some output that looks like this. And these are the credentials you're going to need to assume the bucket master role. Now that we have these credentials, we need to overwrite some of our environment variables. We'll do export AWS underscore access underscore key underscore ID equals, and then we'll copy this access key ID value down here. Press enter. Then we need to export the AWS underscore secret underscore access underscore key. And we can grab that from right here. And finally, we just need to export the AWS underscore session underscore token. And we can grab that from right here.
Now that we've done that, we can check our user ID by doing AWS STS get dash caller dash identity like we did earlier. And we can see that we've successfully assumed the bucket master role and there's our session we created earlier. Now that we had that out of the way, we can view our buckets. But first we need to actually see what buckets we have access to. We can do that by doing AWS S3 API list dash buckets. Now, if you hadn't assumed the bucket master role, you would have gotten an access denied message. But here we can quite clearly see the buckets that we have access to. Easter secret seems pretty interesting. So let's dive into that bucket. We can do AWS S3 API list dash objects dash dash bucket. And then we can just grab our Easter secrets from up here. Press enter. And we can see our cloud password.txt quite clearly in the contents. You can also scroll through the rest of this if you want to, but we're just going to press Q to quit out of that. Now we need a way to grab the cloud password.txt file. We can do that by doing AWS S3 API get dash object dash dash bucket. And then we can repaste in our Easter secrets bucket. Then we can do dash dash key cloud underscore password dot txt. And then we're going to save that as cloud underscore password dot txt to our local host. We can do ls here. We can see that we have our cloud password txt file right there. We can cat that out. And there's our flag, more like Sir Cloud Bane. We'll copy that. Paste it here, click check, and that should complete the room. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.